We've been doing an awful lot of talking about grid serve and electric highway recently. It's with good reason though, they're on the verge of transforming long distance EV travel in the UK to the point it will be completely unrecognisable from its current form once they're done. And as they continue their progressive rollout of brand new chargers at motorway services, replacing the dodgy old ecotricity hardware, one question remains. Can they actually charge more than one car at a time? And we've talked about the strategy that Grid Server are employing as they upgrade their old chargers. Ratio of CCS to Chadamo, provisioning of AC for drivers that are dependent on it, for those that can't charge using DC. But there's one continuing source of confusion, and that's dual charging. So they've installed chargers at locations that have two CCS connectors on one unit. So you've got dual CCS. And you would hope, therefore, that that means you can charge two cars at once. And a number of people have reported, actually, that that, that doesn't currently seem to be the case. They've, they've turned up, they've tried to charge when another car's been charging and it refuses to start. And so, very rightfully, they're wondering what's going on. What's the point in having two CCS on one unit if you can't use them both at once? And GridServe have responded, of course with a press release addressing these concerns. I'm quite amazed actually at how good they are at communicating with our customers. If we compare them with Ecotricity or actually a lot of other charging operators, it's not fair just to pick on Ecotricity here, right? There's a lot of other operators and some of them really quite large that aren't that great at communication. And they definitely seem very customer focused in their operations in, in contrast. So I think that's fantastic. It's exactly what we need, right? The dual charging press release is available on their website and there's a link in the description if you want to have a read yourself. As usual, Torrington Harper, the CEO of GridServe, said the following. Dual DC charging is the next step in our plan to hashtag deliver. I really, I like that, hashtag deliver. That seems to be grid serves um, current marketing thing of the, of the moment. Hashtag deliver a better charging service and customer experience across the network. We appreciate that people are wondering why we've installed chargers that are capable of simultaneous dual DC charging, but that the chargers are not currently set up to deliver the service. So there we go. They can do it, but they're not currently enabled for it. The reason is that we are awaiting a software update. It's on the way, we understand one to two months, and it's currently undergoing a significant amount of testing to ensure everything is functioning correctly. As soon as it is released, the chargers will be able to provide simultaneous DC charging. And as I've said, that means that if a charger has both a Ch Chadamo and CCS connector, two vehicles can plug into these connectors at the same time, and both of them will charge at the same time. And also that would be the same if you had two CCS connectors. Furthermore, load balancing will be dynamic. So if one vehicle is at the start of its charging cycle, needs more power, and the other is towards the end and needs less, the charger will load balance. So the vehicles will share the available power across the two chargers in the most efficient manner. Just so you understand all the nuances, under a different configuration, it's actually possible to provide dual charging today in advance of the software update, However, this would result in us not being able to provide more than 30 kilowatts of power on each charging cable, irrespective if only one side is being used. Our utilization data is currently telling us that we are able to provide a better customer experience by charging each vehicle as fast as possible, rather than reducing the maximum charging power available from either cable, which is why we've configured the chargers in the way we have. There's more to discuss on this topic, particularly in relation to power sharing, and we will provide a further post on this topic soon. In the meantime, we hope this explanation is helpful. We are doing everything we can to get this sorted as quickly as possible. So this is an absolute game changer, if you ask me. I, I don't know of any other operator that's trying to deliver this. And the fact that they were waiting on a software update from the charger manufacturer suggests they might well be pushing the envelope here. Almost every other rapid charger in the country has more than one parking space in front of it, yet they'll only charge one DC car at a time. You'll occasionally be able to do one DC and one AC, so you know a Leaf and a Zoe or a ZSEV and a Zoe 
can charge at the same time. But more often than not, it's DC charging that's in full demand, see, as we discussed in the AC charging video, where we addressed the concerns of Renault Zoe owners. DC charging there is a higher demand for. There are, of course, power sharing issues. If you've got a site that can only just about provide enough power for one car to charge quickly, you're not going to be very popular if you split that in half. So I think sites like that, yeah, only charging one car at a time, yeah, I guess it's fair enough. You're making the most of the power that you've got available. But I'd have thought sites like that would be few and far between where you fitted a, a single rapid charger and there's only just enough feed for that. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, if you look at like Instavolt, for example, they tend to put pairs in, right, minimum. They, they tend not to only charge, install one charger. They'll, they'll install two. There is the odd site where there's only one, but they install two. So that makes me think that the, the power must really be available. And actually quite often when you're seeing a single rapid, maybe it could be charging two cars at a time if there was enough power provision. But so, you know, Osprey and BP Pulse, they're, they're, they're quite bad for having single rapid sites. BP Pulse in particular, I think we've all tried to find the, the one rapid tucked away in the, the back, back, dark back corner of a, you know, a, a gym car park or, or something a bit weird like that. And, and BP Pulse is quite bad for only having one. And if, but if that one could charge two cars at a time, then, you know, the queues are reducing in busy areas, aren't they? I suppose you're still going to have redundancy issues with this dual charging, right? So if a unit fails in a way that takes both connectors out at once, which is probably how they'll tend to fail, you know, I doubt you'll see that if you've got like two CCS that one of them will stop working and the other one on the same unit will be okay. Chances are something will fail that controls the DC power output and so the unit will, let, will go down and still be out of service. So I think that's where you still need multiple units for true reliability and redundancy. But if you could double the capacity on a given site just by swapping one unit out for one other unit that, that can charge two cars at a time, that would need to be a step in the right direction, wouldn't it? So hopefully GridServe will work out these technical challenges and we'll see dual charging come online very soon. You know, one to two months as they say. I'll maybe even see if I could head to one of their sites with the MG and the i3 and try it out for you live. What an exciting life I lead, eh? Let me know in the comments what you think. Does dual charging change the game for you? Or would you rather they concentrated on increasing the number of actual units at a location? It's a good interim measure, if nothing else, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.